Hi everyone, and welcome to GameSense Presents Guess That Robot. We've got Francis and Stephanie here who haven't seen a video that we're eventually going to show them. But first, I'm going to describe the robot to them and they're gonna to have to draw how they think the robot should look. They'll each get one question and then we'll go from there. Today's team is Team 179 Swamp Thing out of Florida. All right, are you guys ready? As ready as I'm gonna be. Steph? They're a wide robot, they've got mechanum. They stack, but then they've got the hand of God on the back of their robot, okay? They've got a they've got a claw that also has mechanum wheels that can move the container within it. It can turn sideways, it can turn, it can twist around, it can reach out to the front of the robot, it can reach to the back, it can go up and down. So that's that's the back of the claw for you. And then they've got the Nemo arm, right? The what? So the Nemo arm? arms over here, the Nemo arm. The Nemo arm's over here on the left side of the robot, and it's on a four bar, and it kind of goes in and out like this to try and grab totes. So that's all you're gonna get. You've got the hand of God on the back, you've got the wide mechanism, and you've got the Nemo arm. We're gonna give you a few minutes, and you guys can ask a question if you're ready. The, the Nemo arm is used to help grab totes from the landfill, and it's a pretty small structure. So why do you call it the Nemo arm? Because it is little and on the left. Oh. <laughs> it's on a four bar and it does a, like a little scorpion action like so exactly like this. In fact, okay. um, it's very, very thin. It's almost two dimensional. That's and <laughs> And basically what it does is it pulls, it stays back in the robot and then it comes out and it's got a little hook on the end so that they can drag um, topes out of the landfill. See, we've got Steph over here with a very adept choice of green. Got a little isometric action going on here. Oh boy. Isometric, that's crazy. Well, while you're at isometric, there's something I want you both to add in your drawings. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen the YouTube video. This might be a little old for some people, but I want you to put a bunch of old Greg hair just kind of all over this robot <laughs> because <laughs> almost uh, as if it rose out of the swamp like a swamp thing because there's pneumatic tubing everywhere on this thing. Although not a functional part of their robot, they happen to have a selfie stick for their GoPro. Oh, really? If anybody from 179 is watching, please leave that on during a match and have it take selfies periodically. Like with every stack that it makes. Just, you know. I would venture to say that this hand of God has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven degrees of freedom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. That's a great good question. question. <laughs> it, it, even folds, it folds up in ways that I would not expect. Francis and Stephanie have drawn their robots, and now we're, they're going to reveal their incredibly artistic creations for us to critique, and then they'll get to see the final robot design produced by 179. Francis, what do you got for us? You can see here we have the selfie stick. We got ourselves a hand of God with mechanism wheels all over it. It's got like seven degrees of freedom. There's a little claw <laughs> thingy at the front. We got ourselves an isometric view down down at the bottom here with more mechanism wheels. This this view you can see the halo for the hand of God. That's a little bit closer over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, and yeah, two it. sets of elevators. 
and and I such like, wheel. I like how you're you tried drawing mechanism wheels on your claw and it just turned into like scribbles. All right, Steph, what did you show us? All right, well. Oh, hey! I forgot about the mechanism wheels on the claw. I remember I said that. But, That's right, you put but, phalanges. Okay. Yes, you have actual phalanges for the hand of God. <laughs> actual phalanges. And uh, some indications of degrees of freedom up here. And, what? Uh, yeah, those, these little circle things. Oh, okay. Circle things right there. Yes. So I was picturing, I like Francis's arm thing in the front here better. My four bar, I didn't really four bar this arm over here. But uh, the back, I'm just confused about this whole hand of God situation. Yeah. I'm picturing like Pink's thing in like 2008. That was like what was in my head. Like the giant like scooper duper. Mm -hmm. You can kind of uh, do that. With like extra things, degrees of freedom and stuff. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not even 100% sure how it works, and I've seen the video. <laughs> <laughs> I am a fan of the arm. green, though. It's an appropriate color. Yes, yes. And then I have my little Nemo arm <laughs> here. And the, uh, yeah, the surgical, or the, what was it? Pneumatic tubing. Pneumatic tubing. Uh, hair. Mm -hmm. Got that. Oh. See, I always thought of old Greg's hair as a little more, a little more different. Like, you see here, we got, we got all this, like, <laughs> in the middle here. Yeah, okay. like kind it's of like all... Rastafarian. Almost. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Old Greg would be is like kind of in real life, you know. You're you're closer, Francis. You're closer. Awesome. All right. Yeah, it I wasn't any peach fuzz. All right. Next, we are going to show them the video, and we're you're going to get to see their reaction as they watch it live. Okay. Get this. There it is. There's the hand of God. Okay. Uh, it's not don't... a hand though. You haven't oh, seen yeah. nothing yet though. Wait, oh, there's a the selfie stick. Yeah, lower the selfie. Look, and there's the Nemo. <laughs> Did you see the little Nemo arm? <laughs> It'll come out again. It'll, It'll come out again. again. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh what? <laughs> ah. Did he just break himself? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You still ain't better. seen it all yet. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> what? God! Why does it move on the car? The back of the wheel. Back of the baby. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, that's so smart. That is so smart. <laughs> oh wow. That's so good. <laughs> oh, there's, 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 oh, I see on the four bar. Okay. Ah, you forgot to mention they had a stacker on their Wait, robots. did you see that? Wait, oh, what robot? <laughs> Wait, behind the robot? Yep. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my so here we are. Here's the two designs. I think for best rep representation of the hand of God, we'll go with Francis. It was basically just a, a bunch of scribbles, but it was, you know, closer than an actual hand. <laughs> <laughs> for when best you say hand. The profile is like kind of similar. Yes. <laughs> of the first one. <laughs> In the same way that a crescent moon is similar. <laughs> for... Best representation of the old Greg hair. We're going to go again with Francis. Yeah. And for best use of team colors, we'll go with Stephanie. Oh. Ah, damn. Hey. Oh, well, you earned it. You earned it. <laughs> By a score of two to one, our winner for this week is Francis. Everybody give Francis a round of yes. applause. All right, guys, tune in again next week. We're going to try to release one of these each week where Francis and Stephanie will go head to head in a battle to see who can understand my terrible descriptions of your guys' robots. <laughs>